The key to pulse performance management is really to go through the whole syllabus and to use a very good exam technique so you can pass this paper. So for example, one of the most difficult areas in the performance management exam is to calculate the advanced variances. And in our course, we will be using the unique approach to calculate that variances so you can get easy marks in the exam. First of all, let's see the syllabus of the performance management. So performance management is a more advanced paper compared to what we've seen in the management accounting or the MA paper in the past. And from the performance management, we are looking at things most likely from a tactical point of view. So for example, in the management accounting before, we need to determine that costs for a single product. However, in the performance management, we may be thinking about whether or not to implement a new costing system, a new budgeting system for the entity. And we also need to deal with some of the basic issues happening within the group. So for example, the transfer pricing. And we are required to measure the performance of different subsidiaries or branches in the group, for example, using the return on investment approach or the residual income approach, and to also use some of the uh, more advanced methodologies, things like balance scorecards and also the building blocks model. So these are the things that we need to learn in the PM exam. So PM syllabus, first of all, we need to look at the MIS, the management information system, because nowadays we use IT to support our decision making. And also the data analytics tools ready, but in the exam it's highly likely that you may be given a sub requirement in a section C as a worthy requirement to comment on the advantages and disadvantages of such systems. Of course, the advantage will be the flexibility, the speed that we can process the transaction. However, the disadvantage would be to subject to cyber security risk and so on. And then moving on to the specialist cost and management accounting techniques where we are going to be focusing on some of the costing part, particularly with the more advanced level of costing techniques. So for example, the activity-based costing, or we can call it as the ABC, and also the life cycle costing, target costing, and also the throughput accounting measures, and so on. Because we need to determine the costs per product or per the service, for example, using the composite of cost unit concept, because by doing that, we can budget what will come up, okay? We can set up the budgeted costs and we can better control them using the variance analysis later on. We also need to apply the techniques into the decision-making section here. However, by using the decision-making techniques in the PM paper, uh, for example, the application of relevant costing principles will be a lot more difficult than we may have seen in the ACCA MA or the F2 studies. So make sure that we thoroughly learn the concept of relevant costing in the exam so we can be able to apply them in any questions related to section B or the section C questions. And finally, one of the section C questions is a worthy question will come from the area of performance measurement and control. So for example, transfer pricing, balance scorecard, building blocks model, where you are required to think about the investment center or the subsidiary's performance in the group. I must say that the PM paper is very interesting indeed. However, it's a little bit challenging um, because it really requires students to calculating numbers in a correct manner. The exam is 180 minutes into 100 marks, you will get at least 50. 
And the exam has been divided into section A with 15 multiple choice questions coming from any areas from the syllabus. This is the most challenging uh, sections in the exam. And you'll also be presented with the section B questions with another 15 questions split into three cases, okay? Three cases. Each case will be with five objective test question here. Now, the examining team has its own preference of setting the section B questions. For example, learning curve, okay, in the PM syllabus, uh, learning curve, we're going to be using that to estimate the budgeted labour costs, okay, and the ABC principle, which means the activity-based costing, relevant costing, cost volume profit analysis, variance analysis, and also target costing may be tested in the section B each and every exam. For section C, there will be two questions here, okay, out of these areas, it may be given performance management where you're required to calculate some numbers. So I would deem that in this exam, one sentence will be equals to one mark. Variance analysis and budgeting, pricing decisions, and also transfer pricing issues happening within a group. So my advice to you, first of all, you need to know these key areas and also the application of these questions in the past into the past exam questions, you have to learn them and study them well and to practice enough section C questions so you can see very similar questions that may come up in the actual exam. This paper, very interesting, but a bit challenging. And by studying with me, I will give you some new thought of looking at things from a tactical as well as the operational point of view Okay, when we come to the actual uh, working environment in the future, perhaps by utilising the tools and techniques that we've studied in the performance management to tackle complicated working problems and also exam questions, of course. Okay, I'm going to stop this recording now and best of luck with your PM. Bye bye. A P C accounting for your future